Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and what we're going to be talking about today is actually the light machine guns here in Black Ops 3 and why you should not sleep on them. I know a lot of people don't use light machine guns, they are typically the least used weapon category in Call of Duty. If I had to guesstimate, I would say assault rifles and submachine guns are probably up there at the top. I'd say sniper rifles would be up there as well. Then you look at shotguns, then you look at uh, other things like secondaries and things like that. But light machine guns are typically the weapon category that people try to avoid for a number of reasons. The biggest reason would be be when you're using a light machine gun you're moving around ridiculously slow right it's a very slow clunky weapon yes they are ridiculously powerful traditionally in call of duty light machine guns typically have like infinite range and in that if they're a two shot or three shot kill close range they're going to be a two or three shot kill long range so two shots is kind of uh, pushing it but uh, you know if they're a three or four shot kill at close range they're going to continue to have that range no matter how far away they are in certain call of duties that's been the case and that's definitely been pretty nice that's kind of been the give and take of a light machine gun is that they hit like trucks but they all also move very very slow right they're just a very slow clunky weapon category as compared to submachine guns shotguns or even assault rifles and things of that nature here in black ops 3 as i'm sure you guys are well aware but some of you guys may not be very much aware uh the light machine guns in this game move just as fast as assault rifles now you do have the other penalties right you do have the other slow penalties of a light machine gun in that they reload very slow as compared to other weapon categories they typically aim down sights a little bit slower than the other weapon categories but in terms of like pure movement speed they move Move just as fast as assault rifles here in Black Ops 3. So that penalty is already gone. Now, what people were doing towards the beginning of the life cycle of Black Ops 3, which is weird to say, the game hasn't even been out a month, but with the recent update they gave this game, uh, they changed around a lot of things. But what people did when the game first came out was they were kind of using these LMGs as if they were assault rifles because they moved around just as fast as assault rifles. And if you were to slap on like a quick draw onto these things or maybe an adjustable stock, suddenly you're moving around just about as fast as you would with an assault rifle, but you have all the power and damage of a light machine gun gun, right? So they tried nerfing that, they nerfed the effectiveness of quick draw on light machine guns, although it still is pretty good, it's just not as good as what it was when the game first came out. Overall, I want to make this video kind of as a PSA, the light machine guns in this game are freaking monstrous. Now, I'm not the biggest person into stats, I think it's kind of hard to keep track of all the individual stats of all the weapons, especially with all the buffs and nerfs that happen to the game and whatnot, but I will say that even though a lot of people consider the BRM to be the weakest light machine gun for one reason or another, I found that it's actually pretty powerful, and I really enjoy using it. It's a very slow fire rate, high damage damage LMG you're seeing evidence of that here in this gameplay it shoots very slow but it seems to hit like a truck and it is very effective downrange I really like using this thing and then the rest of the light machine guns are just as good a lot of people are considering the Gorgon to be a bit overpowered even after its recent nerf where they seriously nerfed like six different aspects of the weapon uh, people are still considering it to be overpowered a little bit the 48 dredge the six round burst LMG is ridiculous right if you're a fan of like M16s or MA day ones like burst weapons that thing's like the ultimate burst weapon because it's always like a one burst kill because it shoots six bullets with its burst it's kind of insane and uh so the rest of the light machine guns are pretty good they're pretty powerful in general and i would say if you've never really tried using light machine guns in call of duty before black ops 3 would probably be the time to try it out Treyarch has kind of getting a reputation for making their light machine guns very powerful they were obviously very good in black ops 2 they're obviously very good here in black ops 3 as well and that's something that we typically don't see in call of duty most of the time the light machine guns are usually okay weapons but the Treyarch call of these the most recent ones anyway they're definitely making the light machine guns very good to try and say hey this is a weapon category that you can use this is not supposed to be the afterthought weapon category there's supposed to be specific you know pros and cons to using light machine guns just like any other weapon tier and you should not brush off the light machine guns you should not sleep on them you should actually try them out because they definitely have their own benefits depending on the game modes and the maps that you're playing on right so that's the whole point of this video just want to let you guys know the light machine guns in this game they get my thumbs up they get my stamp of approval they are ridiculously good then you guys should definitely try them out don't just dismiss them i think a lot of people, like me included, you know, if you've been playing Call of Duty for a while, you see some things in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and you kind of just dismiss it right away. Like, for example, the Pharaoh submachine gun. I just immediately dismissed the Pharaoh here in Black Ops 3. As I looked at it, it was like, oh, it's a burst SMG, right? This is probably going to be like the Chicom CQB back from Black Ops 2. They probably just put it in the game just so they could, you know, have check off that little thing on their list to say, hey, we have a burst SMG in this game. You know, I didn't think you'd be that great. Obviously not, man. The Pharaoh is amazing. The Pharaoh is ridiculously powerful 
borderline overpowered, some people are saying. And uh, yeah, so definitely try out everything. Don't just dismiss things just because you think you know from previous Call of Duty games, because I've made that mistake already here in Black Ops 3. I'm like, ah, the light machine guns, they're probably not going to be that great. Turns out they're amazing. Ah, the Pharaoh submachine guns, a burst SMG, how good could that be? Turns out it's amazing. Uh, the M8A1, turns out it's amazing. You know, it just I made a video talking about that yesterday. Just don't sleep on anything here in Black Ops 3. Give it all a try, because a lot of stuff in this game is ridiculously powerful. And it goes back to a video I made several weeks ago, just talking about Black Ops 3 and how it is ridiculously balanced. Its weapon balance has been fantastic. I do still think the M8A1 is probably the best weapon in the game, but overall, the weapon balance in Black Ops 3 has been fantastic in that every single weapon and every single weapon category is viable in one way or another. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you guys all found it helpful and informative. If you did, drop me a like rating. It helps the video grow, helps my channel grow as well. And what do you guys believe is the most undervalued weapon here in Black Ops 3? Like, what is the weapon that not a lot of people are using, but you just don't understand why? Because to you, it's an amazing weapon that nobody seems to understand is amazing. Let us know what is the most underrated weapon here in Black Ops 3 thus far. I would love to know about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a rating, and I hope you guys all... Only strength, only victory. Have a wonderful day.